Hello everybody, we're gonna start creating a special swoosh. Um, I believe this is a very special element that you could easily um, add to your mandalas and you could make them look really great uh, by doing so. We need simple materials. We're gonna start with a cardboard, preferably a black one. Uh, cut as a square of 10 by 10 centimeters. You will need any acrylic paint of your, um, let's say, preference, water. Uh, we're going to need like a watercolor pencil or regular pencil. We're going to be working with a skewer and a palette to mix up colors. The first thing we need to do is just to work out the consistency of the paint because when we're going to be working sushis the paint needs to be slightly more liquid than when we are dotting so take any color of your preference in my case I'm using golden color this is a Brazilian acrylic paint brand and I'm just going to add a little bit of water Try to avoid adding water excessively because then it will compromise the quality of the paint. It has to be a little bit liquid but not excessively liquid. And the way to know the right consistency is because you can actually drag easily the paint. See, and it is still slightly creamy. So once you get the right consistency we're gonna start working out our special element with special swooshes so i'm gonna be working with the back side of a pencil i'm gonna load it with a lot of paint and i'm gonna be pressuring a little bit against the surface remember that if you pressure more you can get a bigger dot than the size of the dot that you could normally get with the back side of the pencil. So keep pressuring till you get the desired size of this center dot. To me, I really would like to have some um, big dot. And of course, I'm not very happy uh, with the circular shape so I'm gonna be making adjustments with the skewer or with the toothpick. Feel free to observe the circle and adjust as necessary. Okay and if you get any pick you can always do this round movement to dissolve that pick. So the second step is gonna be surrounding these big dots with small dots. And I'm going to be using the pointy part of the skewer. And I'm going to load my tool with just little paint. Because the idea would be really not to get like big dots. Try to make these tiny dots as similar as possible. And try to be consistent with the distance of these tiny dots from the center dot okay and then you can keep going till you finish once you close the line we're going to start making sushis that will connect with swirls we are gonna think about an imaginary line that will cross here in the middle and we're gonna start creating a couple of circles that they will be that will be parallel one to another, just like that. As if they were, let's say, like the ears, Mickey Mouse ears. And then uh, we're going to make a couple of tiny dots, just like that. And this is my starting point. Make them align with the head of your swoosh. Then just start surrounding gently here the circle just like that 
and this is gonna be the tail of your sushi right there we go and then we're going to make the outer part of our swoosh and then we connect with the thin line as shown in here can you see you can make your swoosh as thick as you want and uh, the connection to the thin line must be at the same level and then last but not least we're going to create some swirls that will connect from here make the swirl as you can see here to the right to the left try it try that the curves look pretty similar and at the same level and the swirl must be very similar and as open on both sides as possible and then once you've made your design and you have your guidelines then you can add paint with the back side of the skewer you're gonna add just a dot here by the head then with the pointy part you load with little paint and then you drag the paint following the guidelines do this gently and when you reached this thin part remember not to load your two with too much paint and that you gently can be dragging the paint just like that and try to follow your guideline you don't need to pressure too much against the surface you can drag gently paint do the same thing on the other side and once you're done we're gonna again think about a fast straight line and we're gonna design some sushis here we're gonna start creating a dot a tiny circle and then we're gonna create this connection with some sort of triangle as you can see here and then to the right and to the left but at a lower height we're gonna create a couple of circles as you can see here to the right and to the left and then we move down as you can see here and we follow the curve and the structure of the main swoosh and then we're gonna go down and we're gonna create to the right and to the left additional swooshes just like that see and we again follow the curve these ones are gonna be cur more curvy than the previous one of course and once you've done that design then you load with the back side of the skewer you load your tool with paint and then you drag the paint towards the center of the lower sushis we did before and think about think of it as if this sushi was going somehow to penetrate um, here or to connect with the main structure as you can see here right and then uh, yeah drag paint and make adjustments as necessary so your swoosh looks really uh, similar at the right and at the left border just like that and then we're gonna work on the two parallel sushis and we're gonna load 
are to the pointy part with a lot of paint. Then we make a big dot here to the right and we make a huge, huge dot to the left just like that and then we're going to be dragging one more time the paint as I'm going to be showing here. Remember that this is a gentle process that this is of course a proposal you don't have to do it exactly right the way I am doing it try to add your personal twist if you want to of course and then yeah you drag the paint gently and make it as parallel as possible and last but not least we're gonna be doing the one stroke a uh, swoosh style let's say in which you load your tool with paint then without separating your tool from the surface you just drag the paint you place the paint here by the circle and then you drag and you don't separate your skewer from the surface and we just need to do just a couple of things more that are very simple you need to clean your tool and we're gonna work out some arabesques I'm gonna be adding just a little bit of water because the paint has been exposed for a while to the air and it's become a little bit creamier than I wanted to and I'm gonna load my tool with some paint and I'm going I'm going to start by the lower part here of the big swoosh then with one stroke I do this curvy shape and I will do the same by the other side and connect here by the center then in the connection part between the parallel, the, the second set of swooshes, you go up just like this and it looks like, like an arabesque, like something Turkish or something Arabic, just like that. And then we do this effect by the third set of sushis just like this and last by not but not least we're gonna be walking the dots so this I believe you are familiar with walking the dots but if you're not I'm gonna explain you you load your two and then you do one two three four five dots without loading one two three four dots and then we're going to do some dots from the top to the bottom in here one two three four five more or less nine or ten and then from bottom to top we walk the dots and there you go I hope you have enjoyed this uh, brief tutorial that you can create this beautiful element and include it in your mandalas don't forget to post your work and tag us so we can repost your art and also don't forget to follow dot mandalas for fun for more tutorials